In this video, I'm going to show you four different ways to add movement to your designs. So for this, we are going to use one of the Instagram story templates. So I'm going to tap on this one. And before we get started, I'm just going to remove a few things from this design. I'll delete the video, I'll delete the song, and I will delete these arrows right here. So now we are ready and I can show you how to add movement to this design in four different ways. The first way I want to show you is by adding your own videos. So what you see here in the middle of the screen, this big blue sky here with the cloud is actually a frame. And when you tap on that frame, you can simply replace the content that will come inside the frame by using the replace button right here at the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tap on that replace button. And now I can do different things from here. I can upload a new piece of content. I could use a photo, a video or anything really from my camera roll. So here I would like to upload my very own video. So I'm going to use this upload media button tap on this and I'm going to go directly from my photo library. Yes, you can also use your camera and simply click on that. So I have recorded this little video of myself. I'm going to tap on this video and add it to my upload. So it's going to take a couple of seconds to upload depending on the file size. All right, now my video is uploaded. I can simply tap on it and boom, it will show right there in the frame. So that's me making a face for you guys. All right, so that's the first way of adding movement to your design by uploading your video. You can also add a video from the Canva library. So again, I'm going to tap on replace here, having this frame selected. So I'm going to replace. And this time, I'm just going to browse through the video tab right here. So tapping here, and you can see a bunch of different video clips and you will see more if you are a Canva Pro subscriber. You will have less options if you are a free subscriber, a free user, but still you would still have some video clips for you to play here. So you can also search the keywords or the categories on top of um, your screen right here. So for example, if I want video about food, I've seen food, I will tap on food right here. So food please and you'll see a bunch of different video clips. So let's find something that looks delicious. Oh yes, dim sum, love dim sum. So let's tap on this one. And then your video will be added to your design. And by all means, you don't need to place your video in a frame. So I'm going to delete the grid and the frame and all of this stuff. And now I want to show you that you can simply add video by tapping on that plus button. Remember the plus button shows you all the good stuff you can add to Canva. And I'm going to simply go to my videos here. So tapping on videos and here it is my dim sum video. I can add it here. So instead of being placed in my grid or in my frame, because it works in both grids and frames, it will just show in its entirety here. So the entire I would say formats of the video. So that's another way of doing it. If you want to add that frame back, again, tap on that plus button, go to your elements. And in the elements, you will search for the frames. You see frames here. So I can tap the little arrow to see all the frames and add another frame that would work for me here. So I believe it was a frame similar to this one. So I will tap here make this slightly bigger. And there you go. Now you can simply tap on your frame and then replace its content. So I'm going to show you now the third way I'm going to add my video in here. Uh, but also I'm going to show you a third way to make your design move. And that is by adding animated stickers. So for this, again, I'm going to tap on this check button. I'm going to use the plus button right here. And this time I'm going to go to the elements, okay? The elements and what I'm searching for this time is stickers. So I would type in stickers and hit enter. So here you will find all these cool animated stickers that Canva made for you, all with movement built in, I would say. So another way to find the stickers, let me 
reduce this is to just simply browse in your element category, in your elements tab. If you scroll down a bit, you will see this part with the stickers and you can simply tap on that arrow and find stickers. You can also search for the stickers. So if you type in stickers plus, let's say frog, let's see if we have any frog stickers. Yeah, see, uh, Canva will show you first the animated stickers with frogs. So if I want to add this little froggy right here to my design, there you go. Now we have froggy jumping up and down here in the corner. So that's pretty cool. That's the third way of adding movement to your design, right? So animated stickers. And there is a fourth way for you to add movement to your designs, and that is by using the animation button. So let's get rid of the frog. Let's even get rid of Ronnie here delete the grid altogether. So this design looks a bit bland, but let's say I will make this the centerpiece of it like this. Okay, I'm going to make this centered, this text box. So searching for my position button. Okay, I'm going to center it like so. Done. Good. So now this text is centered. I'm going to show you how to add movement by adding animation to this design. So the way you do this is that make sure you're not selecting any particular elements. So nor neither a text box or a one of the graphics here, one of the elements, but rather click on the background. Okay, you click on your background. And then here at the bottom of your screen in this menu, you will want to scroll to the right. And you will see this button right here that says block. Okay, so it might say something different, but these little circles right here, this little button is the animate button. So if you tap on that button, you will see different sorts of animations, right? You have none, you have block, fade, pan, and you have a bunch of animations. And depending on whether or not you are a pro subscriber, you will see these with the little crown right here are pro only animations, but you have a bunch of free ones as well. So you can go ahead and play with these and see what your design might look like once you animate it. And you see this movement. So for example, the tumble right here is pretty cool. It adds this movement. You have a stomp one that I like as well, but it's a, it's a pro animation. You see that with the little crown. So let's go ahead and use tumble. So I'm good with this. So I will tap on the done button. And then next thing I want to show you is this little timer right here that says five seconds. So if I tap on that, I can actually reduce the timing of this animation all the way to 0.1 second. So it was originally on five seconds, but I can make this shorter, for example, to two seconds. And if I'm happy with two seconds, I'll tap on done again. And now this is another way to animate my design. Look at this. If I preview this with the little play button here, it will show you the design animated in only two seconds. So to recap, number one, you upload your own video. Number two, you use a video from the Canva library. Number three, you use animated stickers. And number four, you use animations.